we're going to take a look at the count blank function in Google Sheets. And it does pretty much what it sounds like it would do. It counts the blanks in a range, but there are a few things to keep in mind and we're going to go through those right now. We'll start with a simple example and you can get a copy of this spreadsheet to follow along if you want. If you go to sheetshelp.com slash count blank, go down to the bottom in the live examples in your own Google Sheet, click on that and you can make your own copy in Google Drive. But we'll go back to the worksheet and we'll start with example one. We're going to see how many blank values are in A4 through A6. So we'll start typing the name of the function. In Google Sheets, once you type enough, we'll guess that you're using count blank. So we'll click on that. And then it wants the values or the range of values. So we will just uh, use our mouse and select A4 through A6. And I'll close it off and hit enter and it says one. So what I'm trying to show with this is that yes, A5 is obviously empty, so I expected it to return at least one. But also if you have the number zero in any of your cells, that's different than a blank cell. So that's still a numerical value. That's not going to count as a zero. So there is only one blank in this example. All right, let's go down to the next one. In your example spreadsheet, these will be right on top of each other, but it's a little bit harder to show them that way, so I separated it. And let's go ahead and do a count blank here, and something unexpected will happen. We'll pick that range, and it's still just saying one. So when you look at this, there's nothing that you can see in A36, and there's nothing that you can see in A37, but there's such a thing as invisible characters, and the most common one is a space. So we've simulated one in A37. Let me double click in here. And I've made this a formula. So as you start it with an equal sign, that means it's a formula and just parentheses and then a space and other parentheses. So that is counted as something in a spreadsheet. A space character is not a blank, so that's not counted. Now that would have been the same as if I just came into A37 and hit the space key and press enter. I'll go back up and delete that. You'll see the count blank changes to a two, but it's shown as a formula like that, just because that's a little bit easier to follow in the examples because you can't really show just a space. It looks like nothing. So empty characters are something that you need to watch out for. And the last example is we're just going to cover all the other data types and sheets. So I'll link to a video right now about the concept of data types in which different data types exist, but none of these are considered a blank. And it's not real obvious when I work through this, especially the one in A66. But A63, this is Boleyn. It's either true or false or an empty checkbox and a checked checkbox, right? Those both count even if it's false. So let me change that to false. And I just realized I haven't typed the formula in here yet. I delete them for these tutorials. So we'll do count blank, count all of these. It's going to say zero if this is true or false. It also counts errors as something in the cell, which is not too surprising, but here's the weird one. So we have an array in this cell which is just something where the output spills into adjacent cells. So this could be the filter function, unique function. In this case, I just built an array from scratch. So I said 20, and then on the next line, which is semicolon, write a 31. When you surround it by these brackets, it makes it an array. So when I hit enter, this 31 isn't really in this cell or isn't originating from the cell at least. So I hit the delete key, it doesn't go away, but that is not counted as blank. So just keep that in mind. And then I insert an image. So I went to insert image and just picked one and put that in the cell so you could see it, not blank, and a spark line. So this is a pretty good illustration of how strict the count blank function is. And it really only counts something if there's absolutely nothing in the cell. Next, I'm going to link to the type function, and you can use that to look at these different data types. So for example, the spark line, it's a weird one, right? So if I type type, and I point it at A68, it returns a 128. Find out what that means in this next video. Thanks for watching.